What is up guys, today we're going to be checking out the new Roblox trading website called rblx.trade. Now apparently this actually is not that new, but it had a ginormous update today and people are even saying this site is now better than Rollymons. So let's take a look at it. So here on the site guys, we have a lot of stuff that is pulled from Rollymons clearly, like the top bar, it has more, accounts, search, some of them are even in the same places on the Rollymons site if we can see here. Honestly, I think that Rollymons does look like a cleaner site, but honestly, rblx.trade, there's a couple features in here that are really cool. Like if you look at the Roblox catalog page, you can see sales of actual on-sale items, not just limiteds. So if we search up something like custom tentacles, which is a non-limited, you can see how many actual sales it has if we click here. And yeah, it has about... Let's see, it has 9,815 available copies. So if this were to go limited, then it would have like around 10,000 copies. I think it'd be a pretty limited, honestly. But yeah, this actually has like a lot of cool features on it, like the on sale limited. Yeah, a really cool feature on the site is also terminated accounts. So if we can search up the username Jared Valdez4 and we click on his profile, it shows that his account has been terminated, but we can actually take a look at what he had before he was terminated. And yeah, this guy showed a lot of good limiteds before he was terminated. You can see his graph here of what he could have actually had and how much value he could have had if he was not terminated. But yeah, that is another cool feature of rblx.trade. I think another feature that actually stands out is the forums page, which has a bunch of forums about Roblox. And you can speak with other people, like in these different kind of clubhouses, entertainment, Roblox, rblx.trade. But yeah, there's a bunch of different cool features that this has. I think it actually might be a little bit better than the Roymon site. Although I do prefer the Roymon site because it has a cleaner UI in my opinion. And I don't like really like the colors on this site. It's a little bit too dark for me. But honestly, I think this is just like Roymon's but a little bit more complicated to use. But also it has a lot of cool more features. You can also take a look at the Roblox catalog up here. You can see the bundle catalog, UGC catalog, which is pretty cool. And again, you can see how many sales it has and how many favorites and whatever. But yeah, apart from those little key features, it's mostly the exact same as Rollymons, like the trade ads, item catalog, trade calculator, all these different features that Rollymons usually has, except for like terminated search, terminated leaderboard. Which again, really cool features, and I think that that actually makes the site stand out more than Rollymons. I don't have my account verified on here, so let's see what it actually takes to do to verify. We'll type in my username here. And then we will take this and copy and paste it into my Roblox profile. And all we have to do now is we have to go into our about and we have to save it like that. And then we should be able to verify on the RBLX trade website. And yeah, there we go. We can look at my profile. And one thing to note is that the values are the exact same as on Rollymons. But honestly, the graphs are nowhere near as accurate as Rollymons. Like if you look here, it shows all the little bumps and grooves I've been through. But on here, it is kind of terrible. It just shows a straight line. And I'm not sure if it does that because I haven't been verified for very long, but this is a little bit clunky in my opinion. I see a lot of people saying that this website is like a little bit clunkier and whatnot, and honestly, I do agree. Like this site says I still have 5.3 million value, but Rollymon's updates way more often. It has more accurate information because I just dropped about 400k value or so. But apart from that, it does have my full inventory. I'm not actually sure why the graph is like this. It should probably be updating soon, maybe. Another cool feature on the site is apparently the deals page is actually way better than Rollymon's and is more accurate and like way faster. Like as you can see, this was just posted a few seconds ago. And yeah, we can buy it for 150 if we really wanted to. Although the deals page does seem to be a little bit broken because it says that the price is 200 and the graph is 186 which is not a deal at all. That is actually kind of a bad deal in my opinion. But something like Agnotropic Phobia is a pretty good deal, although it is projected, so I would not buy this. As you can see, another one just came in called the Rocket Man. This is actually a decent deal because I know this thing gets overpays because it is kind of a weird looking item. 
as you can see here it's 6.5k pretty good deal but i'm not gonna buy it because i am a little bit poor right now but yeah guys this is basically a rolling mods but a little bit more complicated and a little bit more funky but also has a lot of cool features now i'm not going to be using this site myself honestly i'm probably going to stick to rolling mods because rolling mods is tried and true and i've been using it since my like start of my trading career and honestly it has more reliable information so in my opinion you should stick to rolling mods until rbl extrake can prove that it is not clunky and stuff like that and who knows this could actually be a new giant in the roblox trading community We'll just have to see and find out because this actually is a pretty good site. Although, still, Rolling Mines is definitely superior in my opinion. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.